So in this tutorial, we're going to focus on how to take negative exponents and convert them into positive exponents. And, and this is something that's going to be pretty useful because normally negative exponents look a little bit weird. And, and in this case here, really all we're going to do is we are going to use the reciprocal of the base. So we're going to use the reciprocal. And if you remember, the reciprocal is when you multiply a reciprocal to the original amount, it always equals 1. So in this case, the number that when we multiply by 2 is equal to 1 is going to be 1 half. 1 half times 2 is equal to 1. And then what that allows us to do is take the negative exponent and make it a positive exponent. So what we really have here is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Now this is definitely the most complicated of the, of the three rules for now. So let's, uh, let's actually just write this in kind of algebraic form. If I have a to the power of negative m, that is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. This rule actually works in two directions because we can also say if I had 1 over b to the negative n, that is equal to b to the power of n. So notice that we can take powers with negative exponents um, in the numerator, if you think about this as a fraction, and turn them into positive exponents in the denominator. And we can also take powers with negative exponents in the denominator and move them to positive exponents in the numerator. So here's another example where what we'll do is we'll take uh, 3 to the power of negative 2. And once again, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. And that negative becomes a positive, so 1 over 3 squared, which is also equal to 1 over 9. The same is true when we work with variables. If I have a to the power of negative 5, the reciprocal of a is 1 over a, and that negative 5 turns into a positive 5. As I said, it also works in two directions. So we might have something like 1 over b to the power of negative 4, well, the reciprocal of 1 over b is b, and the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. We'll do one final one to kind of put this all together. And in this particular case, what we'll do is we will have a to the power of negative 3 over b to the power of negative 5. And a good way to think about this is really, it's kind of the same as saying a to the power of negative 3 over 1 times 1 over b to the power of negative 5. And if you remember your multiplying fractions rules, really a to the power of negative 3 times 1 is a to the power of negative 3, and 1 times b to the power of negative 5 is b to the power of negative 5. So let's apply our rule to both of these. The reciprocal of a over 1 is 1 over a, and then the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And the reciprocal of 1 over b is b over 1, and the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. And so now let's put those back together. 1 times b to the power of 5 is b to the power of 5 over a to the power of 3 times 1 is a to the power of 3. The faster way of doing this, of course, is to realize that if you have a power with a negative exponent in the numerator, it's just basically going to flip into the denominator of your final answer, and the power will change signs. And likewise, if you have a power with a negative exponent in the denominator, it'll move to the numerator and will switch signs. And we'll make use of this a little bit later on.